Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Kreis and today we are going to do a, uh, a quick update, which I will do at the end of the video. Uh, but first, I want to show you guys all what the prize winners chose for their, their prizes in the contest. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. And the first prize, grand prize winner, was Ari Lewis, 2011. And uh, he chose uh, the Final Fantasy 13 bootleg soundtrack. And if you guys don't know the story behind this, a lot of people really kind of wanted this because of the story behind it. Um, go back and watch, uh, there was a unboxing video for this. I think it's just called Unboxing the Final Fantasy 13 soundtrack or something like that. Um, and I was really excited for this. And then I come to find out that this is actually a bootleg copy. So I did a video that's entitled, It's a Fake! After uh, the DS9 um, in the pale moonlight when uh, Cisco tries to trick the Romulans. Anyway, um, and I talk about how it's a bootleg and I'll go through, all the, go through all the things about what to look out for when you're buying these things. But a lot of people really kind of enjoyed that story. And I was surprised how many views that video got. But uh, he chose this because of the, the, the sort of storyline to it. And uh, he likes the Final Fantasy XIII music, so there you go. He also chose a copy of Radiant Historia. Um, you know, on the DS. This is just the, uh, the reprint. It's got the manual and everything in it, so get that. I'll, uh, I probably won't ship that to him because he only lives like 30 to 40 minutes away from me. So I'll probably just drive it up to him. We're trying to work out a date that'll work. Um, but we're kind of under the gun because he's going back to school on the 19th. So we'll figure it out. Um, next up, the second prize winner was Mine Eater 100. And uh, he lives out in New Zealand and he chose Samurai Legend Musashi for the PS2. And I made sure to ask him, I was like, can you play NTSC games? And uh, he said, of course, because uh, what I'm coming to find out is a lot of people that live in the PAL region, um, it's really hard to be a gamer in the PAL region. Uh, we always bitch in the, you know, the states here and sort of the, the North American region um, that, uh, oh, we're not getting this game, we're not getting that game. Uh, if you were a gamer in the PAL region, like, it is super, it's a super investment because, you know, either people will mod their systems or they'll buy an American system and start importing games. Like, uh, I didn't realize how prevalent that was until I started YouTube. And uh, so I wanted to make sure he was able to play that NTSC copy. And he can, so fantastic. Um, third prize winner was Blonde Andy 77 And uh, he lives in the UK. And he chose the Final Fantasy IX official strategy guide. So we'll be getting that shipped out to him. And then finally, uh, the fourth place winner was Ball and Nick, 1982. And uh, Nick and I have a lot of the same taste in uh, games and stuff like that. So we have a lot of the same stuff. And, um, you know, really the only thing... Sorry about that. Uh, really the only thing in my prizes that... I had that he really wanted was the Dragon Quest VI Super Famicom cart. So um, I will be shipping this out to him. And the interesting thing about this, I don't know if you guys know this or not, these can be played on your Super Nintendo really easily. Um, as you can see on the back of the cart there, it's all flush, there's nothing there. Back of a Super Nintendo cart has that little notch, the little notches on the back there. Um, down inside your the tray of the where you put the cart, there's these two little notches that are um, down in there. If you just exacto knife those out, you can put these down in there and play them no problem. Now, my thing was, I don't really want to hurt my Super Nintendo because that's the Super Nintendo I've had since I was a kid. You know, a lot of sentimental value there. So I did go out and buy a Super Famicom, but uh, it'll still have the Japanese on it. But it's really awesome to kind of see what these games look like on the original system and sort of what we were missing out on back in the day. So. Ball and Nick will get that. There we go. And, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I'll probably be shipping these out on Wednesday. That's the first day I really have to uh, go out and go to the post office. So, um, hopefully they will reach you all in a timely manner. And, uh, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and get into the update here. And in that video where I uh, drew the prizes, I talked about there being a podcast. And uh, Stephen and I are going to be going ahead with it. We are going to record the first episode tonight with Jonathan Rector of Super Squirrel Games and uh, Jonathan Rector. Uh, he's a great, uh, great friend, uh, a video game player, and a great comic book artist that lives up in Canada. So we're looking forward to getting that started.
Um, the format, we're not really decided on yet. We're going to knock that out tonight when we record it. But uh, it's mainly going to be just Steven and I as the main hosts. And Jonathan's going to jump on whenever he can because he's pretty busy. And, uh, you know, we're only going to do it once a month. So we're really kind of hoping that he can be on almost every episode. But if he can't, then that's okay. But we also want to have other people on as well. Um, I talked to Ari Lewis. You know, he's going back to school, but he said, you know, maybe I can pop on every now and then. Uh, Ball and Nick, if he can, when he can fit it into his schedule, he said he would like to be on. Uh, but we want to see, you know, if, if there are other people out there that want to be on the podcast. So either leave a comment down here or PM me or something like that, and we'll try to work it out. We are going to be recording uh, after, it's usually going to be after 8 o'clock um, on just nights because uh, Stephen likes to put his son down the bed. And uh, we don't want it to interfere with family. Uh, but anyway, um, Eastern, yeah, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, somewhere around there. Um, if you want to be on, we'll contact you and we'll work something out. We'll get the dates set up and that kind of stuff. Um, it's going to be once a month with the option of maybe more than one a month. Uh, it's really going to be how we can fit it into our schedule. But it's at least going to be once a month. Um, we have a YouTube account set up for it. We have an archive.org account set up for it, so um, we will be uh, putting out the name of the YouTube page uh, once we get closer to actually um, putting out the uh, the video. We're going to record it tonight, but there is some um, there is still some legwork behind uh, that we have to sort of work out before we can actually post it. So it might be like a week or two before we actually post it. But I want to at least get, give you guys, you know, watch for the video when we officially announce everything and get it up and running, and then you guys can check us out on a podcast. I hope you all uh, join us in this adventure, and hopefully we can get something really good going with it. It'll probably be, in all honesty, it'll probably be a little rough the first couple episodes until we find our sea legs, and then hopefully we can just, you know, right off to the moon. Um... Another, uh, another uh, sort of uh, update, I guess. I, I lost my train of thought there. Um, I'm thinking about doing pickup videos more frequent than once a month. And I want to get your guys' kind of feel on it. Because I know some people really enjoy pickup videos. Other people could care less. So, I mean, uh, the thing of it is, is I went to GameStop. And they had a bunch of huge sales and everything there. And uh, I just picked up like a lot of really kind of good, cheap games. And they're just kind of sitting there, and I'm like, wow, that's a big stack already. And it, August is you know still all ahead of us. So um, thinking about doing just like intermittent uh, pickups when the stack gets pretty high, and that way I can file them away. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Uh, I don't really know. Like on the one hand, I kind of like the long pick up videos but also I think you know like the last one was like 40 minutes long and uh, that's a bit much <laughs> so um, I'm really thinking about like just doing it when the stack gets uh, big enough to actually warrant a video so let me know what you think there other than that um, I really don't have much else to say distance wor distance distant worlds is coming up here in a couple weeks, so there'll be definitely a video on that. Um, still trying to work on that big uh, project that uh, I hope to dazzle you guys with. Um, what else? There's something else. Something else. I can't remember. Ah. Oh well. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Let me know what you think about these uh, topics, and uh, hopefully we'll get out some more content here soon. I'm hoping to finish up Secret of Mana 2. Uh, sometime within the next week. I don't know if it'll happen or not because I just looked at my work schedule and it's pretty pretty bad. So, uh, yeah. So well, hopefully we'll get a game discussion here soon. Let me know what you guys think about the podcast, what you think about me doing pickup videos a little bit quicker. And, uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.